What's up guys, Nick Major here, APTV correspondent. I'm out in Orange County at the 9th Annual Music Tattoo Convention and Music Festival. Now let's go see what we can find. So there's a lot of cool people getting tattooed out here today and I happened to just walk by and I saw Brandon from Atreyu is getting tattooed. They are performing tonight. Let's see if he'd let me chat with him. We'll see what's going on with that guy. We're at Muse Inc. And obviously you're going to be taking care of the music part later, but you're taking care of the ink now. Yeah, ink is now. So what, what are you getting done? Uh, my, my boy Richie is doing uh, my wife's eyeball and some uh, little details. It's going to be wonderful. We'll always be keeping an eye on you, literally, on your back. You've been a man of tattoos for a long time. Yes, so what is it about the music world and the tattoo world that collide so well together? Oh, for some reason they just like mystically came together and I feel like I've just have been interested in tattoos since I was young. I don't know if it was because like bands I liked had tattoos or what it was, but I think it's, it, it's all art, you know? So I think it's just art, different facets of art coming together. with my favorite tattoo artist actually, oh, Nico man, Hurtado. Yeah, that's amazing. How has the festival been? The festival's awesome, man. I mean, uh, it's always great. It's a great show, you know. Uh, the people that put it on are good people and, you know, it's good. It's gotten better over the years, so. Do you partake in a lot of tattoo conventions? I used to. I've been on conventions all over the world, but um, I'm now, this year, this is probably one of the only shows I'll be at. I've ran into a few artists now and they say like, They've been to a lot in the past, but the one that they keep coming back to is always music. They just have yeah. fun here. Yeah, music's good. Um, it's pretty laid back. It's not all crazy. And then you get to go watch the show, so it's awesome. They always have great bands. The music aspect is a great one. because yeah, it, it's a cool combination. How long has your name been attached to uh, the festival? I've been attached to it for three years. And it seems like the perfect thing for you to be a part of because it's tattoos, it's music, and cars. So how did that come into into play that you were the presenter of it? A couple of my friends, Franco Viscabi and Chuy Quintanar, a bunch, a couple tattoo artists, had hit me up one year and they're like, yo, I heard, you know, music's not going to happen this year or whatever. They're looking for someone else to partner up. So I partnered up three years ago and I curated the event. I chose what bands were going to play, helped bring tattoo artists down to the to the event, as well as, you know, made cars a part of it. Those are three things like I eat, sleep, and breathe. It's like I can kind of do it with my eyes closed. So, yeah. It's not only about music and tattoos out here at Muse Inc. As you can see all around me, there is a lovely selection of classic cars. Take this beautiful next to me, for example. It is beautifully airbrushed, that bright orange, that chrome. Of course, you're looking at a 1963 Chevy. I don't actually know anything about cars. I was hoping to sound smart there. But, um... There is some great looking cars here though, so let's just throw a montage up in case you uh, would like to see what they got here. Sorry to snap you right out of that beautiful car moment, but I gotta try some of the food that's here because we're in the outside area right now. There is food, there's more vendors behind us, but since I'm hungry and since I love hamburgers, I cannot pass up America's favorite foods. I'm gonna keep it simple though. I can judge a good burger based off their simple burger. If you can do a simple hamburger well, then you're not doing too bad. So let's go pick one of those up and see what we think of it. Hello, could I have a plain old burger? Unfortunately, my hunger is now an issue of the past thanks to that burger. Next up on the list, I'm meeting up with Dan and Porter from Atreyu to see what they have to say before they're set tonight. Ran into Brandon earlier, as you all saw, so it is just an Atreyu kind of day. They've been a favorite band of mine for years, so I can't wait to chat with the two of them. You guys are from right around this area, too. Yeah, this is our backyard. So this is pretty much home for you. 
Yeah. I think you could probably throw a stone at Travis's house from here. If yeah. you're, maybe two throws. Yeah, if he's, if he's late for whatever reason, we just yell out the window of one of these places, Travis! Have you guys ever been out to this uh, this festival before, this yeah. convention? Yeah, we've actually played it a few times. Oh, uh, so you guys are veterans of this thing. Yeah, yeah so we played third, it in 2009, right? Third, uh, yeah. Third time? Third time, third time, playing, maybe. Third time? I think it's second time. Second time. He's crazy. I'm crazy. Oh, look at this guy over here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, Mr. Vic back. Speak of the devil, here's Travis. Look at this. What are we What are we getting tatted up today? Uh, we're getting a rhinoceros skull on my forearm. What's the significance of a rhinoceros skull? Okay, so a rhinoceros is built really low to the ground. They got really tough, gnarly skin. They don't see very well. And for the most part, they're just like kind of go with the flow animals unless they're like really pissed off. And then that's the last thing you want to be around. And all of that is a lot like my dad. So I just got word that there's free ice cream here and there's a beautiful ice cream truck behind me. So maybe it's a dream come true. I've always wanted to walk up to an ice cream truck that gives out free ice cream. Is there ice cream here? Oh, I love it. Oh my God, the inside of this place is amazing. I didn't know an ice cream truck could look like this. Oh man, could I get a one of the ice cream sandwiches? Thank you. Thank you so much. Archie's Ice Cream in Tustin, it is the most lavish ice cream truck ever to exist back there. Let's try this out now to see how good the free ice cream is. Oh, it tastes so free. This ice cream, like America, is free. How long is this thing going to take you to, to get done today? I think in total we've worked 12 hours so far, maybe another three to four hours. So, so I would say 17 in total. Yeah, we started yesterday right in, yeah, as soon as the doors open, we started. Looks like you're enduring quite a bit of inkage right now. I am, doesn't hurt. It's your biggest piece. You have your whole arm done. How does, how does the back compare to the arm? The tramp stamp area is worse. Uh, I give it to the drunk girls. What are we doing over here today? Um, we're doing tooth jams. We are, um, tooth gems. Get it? Can we show this tooth real quick? Look at that. So I put diamonds, crystals, and gold charms on your teeth. You do straight up grills? Like if someone wants to look like a gangster? Uh, no, but maybe I could put like three or four charms and make it look like a little mini grill. I run a, a pretty tight ship on my shop. Uh, most of our guys are straight edge. So uh, we don't drink, we don't smoke, we don't party, we don't do none of that stuff. We just do clean tattoos, clean work. We do a lot of painting and uh, constantly pushing each other. With the more younger culture getting into it, growing older, it's more widely accepted now, you know, so. Do you think that's a good thing, or did you did you like kind of when tattoos were more of a... I, I did. They're, exclusive. They're, right. It, it, yeah, there, I kind of, two sides about it, because sometimes, you know, you look at it and you're like, oh, it was kind of more real back then, you know, but now, at least you're not treated kind of differently by most people. Accepted, that accepted, accepted right. So at Treyu are about to hit the stage right behind us. It is all set up. They got their backdrop going. I can't wait. I've never seen them live before. So it is about damn time that I watch them play. So stay tuned to see what they bring to the table, to the stage, to Muse Inc. I'm fucking having a great time, let me yes, fucking right. A. Time. You don't get better than this. Yeah! Fuck yeah. To a tray you. Yeah. How do you like that? Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Music! Yeah. Yeah.